Hey y'all, it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas, and today I want to show you how to create this sweet Halloween fairy lantern and cloche. I've been loving all the fairy villages that are everywhere, but I don't love the price. So I thought I could use the Cat's Pajamas Hey Boo stamp set to make one or two. I saw this four pack of black and white pumpkins from Dollar General for three dollars. While I like the dotted one and the striped one, I want more sparkle. So I gathered together some pumpkins from Dollar Tree and Dollar General. And Dollar Tree also had a three pack of small pumpkins that were already white. Now from the non-white pumpkins, I removed the stems and painted them up with chalk paint. I found it was easiest to put them on a skewer to paint and put the skewer in some styrofoam to dry. The off-white pumpkins took two coats, the orange and green took four. Now once the paint was dry, I can add the glitter. To make the stripes on the pumpkin, I used double-sided tape in the valley of the pumpkin for one, and on another, I'm placing stripes horizontally. And for the dots, I'm placing glue dots here and there. Once the dots are on, I'm placing glitter on the dot and really pushing the glitter into the dot. If you don't have double-sided tape or glue dots, you can add patterns to your pumpkin with quick drying glue, like Art Institute glue. Now let's stamp the fairies to go in the lanterns and the cloche. I'm using the Cat's Pajamas Hey Boo stamp set. And since I'm coloring with alcohol markers, I'm using Marvy dye ink in black. I'll be stamping each one of the little witches from the set on the corresponding shape that I cut using the free cutting file for this set on my Cricut. And I want to make the witches really sturdy, so I've cut three of each shape so I can layer them up. After I finish coloring the witches, I'm gluing the corresponding shapes together, layering a black wire in between the two of them, and placing the colored image on the top. Now I like using clothespins to keep the layers together while they dry. When I saw this cute little black lantern for $5 at Target, I knew it would be perfect for my little fairies. And I wanted to add little fairy lights, so the first thing I did was turn over the lantern and remove the tea light. It was easy, just by flipping up the tab holding the light. Now I'll just insert the fairy lights through the hole in the bottom and secure the switch with a glue dot to the bottom of the lantern. To take care of the hole, I'm just cutting a black square from cardstock and hot gluing one side to the bottom. Now let's decorate. To break up the white, I'm adding black leaves that I pulled from picks from Michaels and Dollar Tree. I'm starting with a dotted pumpkin from the four pack for the base. I want to make the top pumpkin a little off center so I'm adding a toothpick and hot glue to adhere them together. Now for the fairies. First, this sweet fishing witch. Fold the wire in half to make it a little bit sturdier. I wish I used sturdier wire, but I didn't. So I'm just gonna have to make do. Definitely a shorter wire.
and I'll poke a hole in the pumpkin where I want the wire to go. And that'll help make its way into the pumpkin. I'll do the same for the bigger witch on the smaller pumpkin. Adorable! Now I want the big pumpkin to sit a little bit higher, so I'm hot gluing three of the same size little black balls from this filler pack that they sell from Dollar Tree to the bottom of the bigger pumpkin. Love it! A little hot glue to the bottom. Now the last switch. Now that most of the items are in my little lantern, it's time to arrange the little fairy lights. Fold the strand in half and twist around each other and arrange in the lantern. You can use tweezers if you need to. That last pumpkin stem is sticking out when I close the door, so I'm going to remove it and add another black leaf. Finally, add the filler to cover up the base of the lantern. Close the lantern, and the lantern's done. Isn't it so sweet? I think so. Especially when the fairy lights are on. Now, if you don't want to get the lantern from Target, then let's make these cute cloches and pedestals. First, let's make the pedestal using candlesticks and mirrors from the Dollar Tree. I'm making three pedestals here, but you really only need one. One for each cloche. You'll need E6000 for this project. Glue the candlestick to the center on the back of the mirrors and let it dry 24 hours. Then spray paint with glossy black paint. And I'm leaving the actual mirror unsprayed. To make the cloches, start with an empty 2.5 liter soda bottle. Use Goo Gone to remove the labels and nail polish remover to remove the writing. Now take a saw and place it between the ridge of the bottle and the ring that was left when the cap was removed. Once the screw part of the bottle has been removed, sand the rough parts off. You can even use the side of the nozzle on your glue gun to help smooth anything sticking up. It'll melt everything down. Now for the bottom. Take a box cutter and cut the bottom of the bottle along the line of the bottle and trim it straight. Pop out any places where the bottle has caved in. Take a thin black garland and attach it to the cut edge. I'm using hot glue but I found that it melted the bottle a bit, so you may want to use E6000 or another adhesive instead. As a finishing touch, I'm using these small silver ornaments from the Dollar Tree and removing the loop stem. Add E6000 to the top of the bottle and insert the ball and let it set for 24 hours. Well, that's setting will work on the inside. Use the discarded bottle to mark on the styrofoam by pressing into the styrofoam and cut inside the ring. Now don't forget to do a dry fit with your clothes just to make sure everything fits and make sure it's pretty loose because you're going to be covering the base. Cover your base. Here I'm using spider web which I really don't recommend. Use, use something else like moss. It's actually much better and um, easier to get your picks through. Now let's decorate. Insert a toothpick into one of the pumpkins and into the styrofoam. Add more pumpkins and foliage. Here you can see I'm poking a hole in the pumpkin to make it easier to insert this 
insert the stem back. I think I want to add some color and more sparkle, so I'm adding part of a pick from Dollar Tree to the back of this little land. Now I really don't like the white, white base, it's just too much white, so I'm covering it up with black leaves, and I got these um, leaves from a pick from Michaels. Now I love this little resin figure, but he just doesn't want to stick. So later I'll add E6000 to make him stick. And lastly, the other two witches I added the same way that I added them in the lantern, by poking a hole in the in the pumpkin, folding over the wire and inserting it in the hole. Now here's a look at the little fairy world without the cloche. And here it is with the cloche and all dressed up. I hope you like the lantern and cloche and you give them a try. Have a great day! Mm -hmm.